This is Tyler with Theater Design Company. I'm gonna give you a uh, overview on a smart panel system we've put in a home. So we have a 42 inch smart panel here. Um, it's got power inserted on the bottom. We've got the left wires there. You'll see a bunch of cat six wires. You've got an inch and a half conduit that runs to the attic for satellite or future uh, access points, cameras, any of that stuff. And uh, on the right-hand side, you've got RG6 coax, in case you wanna do conventional Comcast cable TV or uh, move your cable modem into a different part of the house. Um, you'll note the white piece of paper there is our low voltage permit up here in Washington. Um, a lot of homes you need to pull a permit on for low voltage. Um, the reason we use a 42 inch can is on the top of this can, we can install a network video recorder for uh, four cameras, the home we're in now is wired for uh, four cameras in strategic spots around the home. Uh, so we'd have our NVR on the top. We would have our cable modem from Comcast or our modem from CenturyLink. And then we can put a PoE switch in here to run the cameras or access points or network switch, anything we want to do. And then on the other thing we do on these homes is uh, on either side of the home on this one, because of the size of it, we run a Cat6 up in the uh, attic space uh, lined up for cans so we can put a ubiquity access point and then you'll note here if I pan back we've zigzagged a 16-2 power wire and that will be for our 2 gig smart panel that we can uh, do a Z smart panel alarm so we can do a Z wave um, throughout for lighting and so on the uh, other thing we do on these and uh, jumping back to this is the the larger can can put a Lutron uh, you know, raw to select hub or radio raw hub in it and uh, allow us to have some extra room in there so you don't have any devices throughout the house. Um, I'll do one room, most of the rooms are the same, but if we go back into one of these rooms here, you'll note um, our bed walls where my back's at and on uh, the left-hand side of here, we've got a uh, RG6 and a CAT6, again, for network or cable TV, um, or they could turn this into an office and just put their cable modem in there. Um, the uh, LAN output of the cable modem could run into the panel and uh, put a switch in and route the other jacks in the house. So that's a dip typical, you know, wiring rough in. I'll go to another room here of a, uh, a spec home. You know, nothing crazy, but at least we've got some wires in here for the future homeowner. So, so every bedroom and uh, master bedroom, living room, all have a RG6 and a CAT6 in each room. Uh, eliminates the wireless. If you've got a kid who's a heavy uh, video game user, He's got himself a hardwired network jack. He's not eating up all your Wi-Fi. And uh, I'll walk through a few more rooms here. So we've got some speakers in here. So kitchen, a pair of speaker rings. I've done a couple videos on speaker rings and the benefit of them. Uh, this one's real apparent. We go down, you can see the speaker rings are perfectly lined up with the uh, cans. It'll go above an island. You can see the stub out for the island. And uh, the speaker rings we use uh, hold a 9.3 inch diameter cut in so we can do uh, origin acoustics da vinci group uh, klipsch many others um, on these spec homes we actually do a rough end kit that allows us to pop uh, numerous different speakers in and uh, see if anything else i can walk through on this home to explain kind of how we rough in so this room i did a video on this one that's separate but this room is wired for uh, four speakers but we've ran a spare wire for a center channel we've ran an in-wall subwoofer we've got our Main equipment location wrapped up in saran wrap, keep the wires clean. That's for a TV um, for that area. And that's your speaker leads for a, a music cast or a Sonos, um, Autonomics, any of the streaming players that we use. And then another thing we do on these homes is we run a secondary 16-2 wire. Wire is relatively cheap for, again, the two gig or the Qolsys alarm systems we install. So that way if someone comes through their front door, we can put a panel here or a secondary panel and then uh, see one other thing. This room's designated on the plans as an office, so we've actually ran a second drop here. So we've got a network drop there and a network cable drop there. So maybe a printer on this wall and have their desk come off and you know the homeowner's got a hardwired connection.